So I got another excellent question from a student of mine in my Excel VBA course on Udemy. And I thought, why not share this with everybody? So I put together this little video to discuss creating custom functions or user-defined functions using Excel VBA. Now Microsoft Excel, it's full of all sorts of functions. And you might end up using, out of the 400 plus functions that Excel has, you might end up using just a handful of them. Uh, there'll be some that we probably should learn uh, that we need to do a little bit of digging into. Okay? But there's loads of them in there. Uh, in many cases, if there's something you want to do inside of Excel, there's probably a function for it. Okay? But in other cases, you may have to create something that's more specialized for you, for your type of data, or for your process. So that's what we're going to discuss here. How you can create something that's out of the box Excel and define this through VBA. So the question that I was asked was something like this. I've got a worksheet, I've got a little list. It's a list of customers, I've got their ID, their name, and I've got this numeric value. Now what I'd like to do is give them a specific status based on their numeric value here. If they're more than 50,000, then we give them one value. If they're less than 5,000, then we give them a different value. And if they're anything else, then we do something else. Okay? Now, there's actually a function built into Excel that can do this for us. We don't have to write any code. We don't have to write a custom function for this. It's called the if function. Just if, tell it what you're looking for, what the condition is. And then based on that condition, if it's true, do one thing. If it's not true, then do something else. We could do something like that right here just using the F function built into Excel. But if this is something common, you can be doing this a lot. I don't want to have to rewrite the F function and define all the parameters every time I use this. I want to create it once and then every time I need to have this scenario come up, I create my own custom function and I plug in my data and all the conditions all the statements are already done for me. Okay? So take a look. This is how you can create a custom function within Excel. So I've got my VBA window open and the shortcut key for the VBA window is Alt F11. You can tap that on your keyboard, get that open. I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna insert a module. And a module, if you're not familiar with it, it's just a fancy place for you to store your code. Now within this new module that I was just given, I'm going to insert a procedure and I'm going to insert a very specific type of procedure here. I'm going to insert a function procedure. The function procedure in short does something, some type of code is run and then it returns a value back. So I'm going to call this one uh, MDAB status. It's a function and it's going to be public meaning I can use it anywhere within this project and I'll hit OK. All right, even just that right there, let's see what I've got so far. If I hop back out to my D column here, and I do equals MDAB, look at that, there it is, MDAB status. I've already got the beginnings of my function built. Equals MDAB status, open paren, and now I need the user of this function to pass this value in. I want to be able to know what the numeric value is so that my function over here could then use a big if statement to determine what to do based on the value that they pass in. Let me just finish that off. Now I've got value, pound value error because I haven't finished my function yet. Now let's go back over here and finish it. So this is just going to be a big if. Uh, actually before the if, I need to require them to pass in that numeric value. So I'm going to say this is going to be the uh, MDAB, and that's it. That's all I'll call it. All right, so I'm going to say if MDAB is greater than 50,000, one, two, three, then I'm going to do something. And if. We're going to say, well, if MDAB is greater than 50,000, then we're going to make MDAB status, the function, we're going to make it equal to uh, above 50,000, one, two, three. All right, now that's just one condition. 
If I go back over here again, and I'm just going to double click that cell, 68,532 is greater than 50,000. So if I hit my enter key, there's my result above 50,000. Now let's keep going here. I want to put some more conditions. I'm going to say else if MDAB is less than 5,000, then we'll say MDAB status, the function again, is going to be equal or it's going to return uh, less 5,000. All right, and let's do one more. I'm just going to do an else. So if it's anything else, if it's not greater than 50 and it's not less than 5,000, then we'll spit out something else. And I'll say MDAB status. And I'm just going to say something, oops, something else. All right, and that could be whatever you want. But the idea is we have these conditions, if conditions, looking at a condition, criteria, determining if it's true or false, and then doing one of, in this case, one of three things. So let me finish this off here. I'm going to hop back out, and all I'm going to do is just drag this one down. Just copy that formula down. So I've got a few that are above, and I've got a few that are something else. Let's try changing one of these. I'm going to make this 4,000. One, two, three. And look at that. There's my less than 5,000. So just like that, let me wipe these out. I've got the function created. Now anytime I need to use it, I just say equals MDAB status. Open up a parentheses. Pass in the value. Close that parentheses. Hit my enter key. And it figures it out for me. And I'll just copy that down. And it's going to do it everywhere for me. These are custom functions. You get something outside of the box, not built into Excel. Or perhaps it's built into Excel, but you want to tweak it a little bit. Like here, we could just use an if function, but through VBA, you create it once and then just reuse it. And you've got all of your code already written, all your conditions, all your returning values, and so on. So try this out. I'm going to put this on my blog. I'll put the file up there as well so you can write your code. You can practice creating a user-defined Excel function.